In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Broken Link Checker to find and fix all the broken links on your website. Welcome to All-in-One SEO. We make SEO easy with our powerful WordPress SEO plugin. Let's get started. So yes, this is an All-in-One SEO video, but today we're going to be talking about the Broken Link Checker plugin brought to you by the same team that created All-in-One SEO. So the first thing we're going to do is install the Broken Link Checker plugin. So let's go ahead and click on Plugins and then click on the button that says Add New. If you haven't done so already, we're going to want to download the plugin from AIOSEO.com. You're going to go to the Account section into your Download area and click the big green button that says Download Broken Link Checker. And if you don't have an account already, you should be able to create one pretty easily. So back on the Plugins page of your WordPress website, we're going to go ahead and click the Upload Plugin button and then click Choose File and choose the plugin file that you just downloaded. And then click the Install Now button. After the plugin installs, click the blue button that says Activate Plugin. And now that the plugin's installed, let's just jump right on in and use it by clicking on the Broken Links link on the left-hand menu. Broken Link Checker is a very valuable, powerful plugin to have on your website but it's very straightforward. There's not a whole lot of functionality. It just works and does what it's supposed to do. It checks your WordPress website for broken links and makes you aware of them so you can fix them. And then it keeps monitoring your website in the future for any more broken links that may pop up. So the main page we've been dropped into here shows all of the broken links on our website. You can see this little section up top says broken 29. That's what we're looking at. If we click on the link that says all, now it's showing us all of the links on the website. So if we look at the status column, we still have some that say this link is broken, but we also have a new status here that says this link is working perfectly. The other options are redirects. We can see all the redirects on the website and dismissed. Don't have anything here because I have not dismissed any of the suggestions. So let's dive right in and see how this works. There's two columns. There's a URL. This is the page that is being linked to, and there's the post. So that's the page that's doing the linking. So this page in the post column is linking to this URL. Under the URL column, we have a few options here. I can just edit this URL directly if I know what's wrong with it. I can unlink it and no longer have a link on this page to this URL. After I have fixed this, I could click recheck. You don't have to do that. This will automatically drop off this list, but if you want to be sure that your fix is taken, you can click the recheck link. You can add a redirect if this page has moved, for example, or you can just dismiss this. So if you just don't want to pay attention to what Broken Link Checker has found for some reason, you can just dismiss the suggestion. On the other column, we can edit the post, presumably to fix this link. We could view the post if we want to see what that looks like, or we could just delete the post entirely. It's kind of a difficult use case scenario to imagine, but maybe you realize as this broken link was found, that this page doesn't even need to exist, and you could just delete the post. I'm going to show you two different ways to fix this. I'm going to show you the most common way first is that we would go in and edit this post and fix this link. But let's view that post first. I'm going to open it in a new tab so we don't lose our place here. And then we can see this is the link. It was under the word comfort here. And the reason I know that is because it's telling us the anchor is that word comfort. And we can also see this red squiggly line that's telling us that this is a broken link. Now, don't worry, your website users are not going to see this red squiggly line. We're seeing that because we are logged into our own website. And this is a feature of Broken Link Checker to help you easily spot the broken links. So I just look on my page for these red squiggly lines and I know where the broken links are. So now that we know where it is under comfort here, I'm going to close out of that and I'm going to go ahead and edit the post. So if I click on comfort here, what this is supposed to be linking to is what are the top five best SEO plugins? So let's click edit. I'm going to wipe this out and I'm just going to start typing. What are the top five best SEO plugins? I'm going to link to that page again. Somewhere along the line here, this link got broken. Maybe somebody edited it manually and messed up the link. I don't know what happened there, but I fixed the link. I'm going to click the blue update button. Now that that's updated, let's 
head back on over to our all posts section. I'm going to click on broken links again, and it has already dropped off the list. So we can see the first link on the broken link page is pointing to the anchor her. And if you remember, our anchor was comfort. So that's already been removed from the list. We do not have to recheck just by coming back around to the broken links page. The link has been fixed and dropped off the list. So that was the main way to fix a broken link. I can show you another way if you notice a typo in the link, for example. So this link here is linking to a page that says Americans may qualify for debt relief, but you can see it, Americans is spelled wrong. There's a bunch of extra letters here. So if we simply click on the link that says edit URL, I can edit that link that's being linked to directly get rid of these extra letters, get rid of the typo. So now it's linking to the word Americans in the URL and click update. And now we can see that that link has automatically dropped off the list. So we are able to fix that one by editing the URL directly. And that's basically how Broken Link Checker works. The only other thing that it does is it continues to check your website going forward so that any new broken links that might pop up in the future will be detected and caught and you can fix them here as well. Real quickly, I'll show you what's in the settings section. That's the only other tab on this main page here. We can see that our license key is connected. Under link tweaks, we can stop the search engines from following broken links. That is off by default. I would leave it off in general with broken link checker or all-in-one SEO. Any of the default settings are really good for 99% of our users. So if you don't know what to do, just go with the default. The second option we have under link tweaks is don't update the modified date for a page post when a link is updated. So this is great if you don't want to alert the search engines that you made a big update to your post when all you were doing was fixing a broken link. So that's why we have that on by default. And then highlight broken links. This is what we were looking at earlier with those red squiggly lines under the broken links on our website. And that only applies to logged in users. So if only the people that update your website are logged in users. You want to keep this on. But maybe if you have customers that log into your WordPress website, then you could toggle this off and not have that as an option. Below that, we have advanced settings. So this is saying, do you want to apply broken link checker to all post types or do you want to pick and choose what post types? Most people are going to want all post types. And then below that, post statuses. So you could, if you wanted to, only check broken links on published stuff and not things that were in draft. So maybe if you were an affiliate marketer, for example, and you hadn't added your affiliate links yet and had a bunch of placeholders, you don't want all of that coming up in broken link checker for your drafts. So you could uncheck drafts. But for most people, you're going to want to include all post statuses. You could exclude very specific posts by typing them in here. So if I wanted to exclude that SEO conference, page for some reason. I could exclude it here. I don't, so I'm not going to do that, but you could do that. And you could exclude certain domains or subdomains in your site. Maybe you had a development subdomain that you didn't want to include. You could exclude that here. And then the last option is when you uninstall Broken Link Checker, if you flip this option, you will remove all of the Broken Link Checker data when you delete the plugin. So I'm just going to leave that off as well. I'm not going to save my changes this time because I didn't make any changes, but that's all the settings in Broken Link Checker, and that's how to use our plugin to keep on top of all of the broken links on your WordPress website. So that's how to use Broken Link Checker to find and fix all the broken links on your website. If you don't already have our awesome all-in-one SEO plugin installed, we've got a link to it in the description below this video. It can help you out with the task in this video as well as many other SEO jobs that you might have to do on your WordPress website. If you click on this next video right here, I'll show you how to use all-in-one SEO with the Page Builder Elementor. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a like. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more tips and tricks on how to use our easy and powerful WordPress SEO plugin, All-in-One SEO.